Man is dead after rushing water swept away three people on Tybee Island. It happened at a sandbar near 19th Street on Friday. WJCL 22 News' Lydia Blackstone has the story. The sandbar near 19th Street is notorious for accidents happening. That's why it's in city ordinance here on Tybee that you can't walk, swim or wade out here without facing the thousand dollar fine. However, three people were doing that on Friday when the tide took them under. You can't really tell that that's that kind of current, but whenever it does come up, it goes quick. Locals know that this sandbar looks safe to walk on during low tide, but when high tide comes in, it's another story. On Friday, police say a couple was out here walking when the tide rushed in and trapped them and another man in the water. Passing by, a good Samaritan who risked it all to save them. Unfortunately, only the two men survived. Cassidy Kendrick at the city of Tybee says the incident is tragic but can be prevented. You cannot swim, wade, or walk out to the sandbar. Uh, it could result in up to a thousand dollar fine. Uh, it's a very dangerous area to try and maneuver by yourself. Even the most experienced swimmers have had very difficult experiences or have also passed away dealing with hazards from the sandbar. Many locals like Madeline Fowler know the beach is off limits, but she says not everyone does. I guess that's why there's more incidents around this time of year because it is our biggest tourist season. In the waves, the Good Samaritan told the men to turn over and float. Once they were back at the beach with the lifeguards, the Good Samaritan left. The woman died at a nearby hospital. Tybee police tracked down the mystery man. We've reached out to the coroner's office to find out the name of the victim. They haven't released that yet, as well as the name of the Good Samaritan, which City of Tybee has not shared with us yet. Now, they do tell us to monitor their Facebook page for all the beach conditions you would need to know before coming out here. And of course, to never walk on that sandbar if you can avoid it. On Tybee Island, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News. What?